In this lesson, we are going to implement product list. As you saw in previous lesson, uh, we have a, a spreadsheet that handle the features we are going to implement. So it's time to implement product list. And what I want to do is to go to VS Code and here click on master, click on create new branch, enter the name of new branch, products dash components. So I'm going to create products component and press enter. That's it. We are good to go for implementing this feature. First of all, we need to create data.json in the SRC folder. Right click here, new file, data.json and press enter. In this file, we are going to create a sample data for products. So it should be products and the product it's like an array and inside this array there is id let's dress one for id there is a title also don't forget for product keep it like this inside double quote and for this object use carry braces like this and enter title dress one and enter a description also put it inside double code about dress one the next field is price let's keep it like $19 and the last one is available sizes. It's an array that contain strings like L and XXL. And it means that from this dress, there is only these two sizes. So uh, the last field for a product is image. Let's keep the image like this. And it should be an address like images slash dress1.jpg and put a comma here. This is the first instance of product. So I replace this with the real data and I put the data.json in the, you know, downloadable materials for this lesson so you can download the data.json and use that about the images i do the same i put the images inside as a zip file as an attachment for this lesson so you can download it and use it exactly inside your public folder create a images and inside that paste the content of six files there i just pasted them right here you see they are the pictures of images that i'm using as a product image in this course after having data.json with this format and a list of images with this format we are good to go in app.js and then import this from here so it should be import product from data put a dot slash because we are looking for a file dot json so it should be data so here I have data and it's time to convert app.json to a class component, not the functional. So remove func change function to class app extend react dot component remove round brackets and then inside there 
put a render function and wrap the return inside the render function. That's the classic way to convert a function component to a class component. Also, define a constructor for this class and inside that call super and then this dot state set default value for state of this component. The first one is products that comes from data dot products. Second one is size that user select by default is empty. And the last one is gonna be sort which is empty like this. So here we are going to implement the product list. Here I'm going to put a div and set the class name to content. Inside content, I'm going to create two columns. The first one to show products and the second one is going to be for showing cart items. The first one is the main content. And next to that, I'm going to put another div and set the class name to sidebar. Inside this div, we put the product components. But before going for that, let's put only products and put cart items here. We are going to add some style to content main and sidebar to make them like a column next to each other. So let's open index.css and here let's define content class set display flex and flex wrap should be wrap the next one is main content set flex to free and the width to 60 rem and then last one is gonna be sidebar keep it flex 1 and 20 rem yeah, you see here we have products in this section, the main content, and there is cart items in the sidebar, in the right sidebar. So we are good to go to define the first component for this course. Right click on SRC, create new folder, and set the folder name to components. Inside components, right click new file and set the file name to products. Inside products, I'm going to create a class-based component. You can use RCC and press tab. Don't forget you have to install ES7 React Redux snippets from, you know, the extension tab. Press tab and here I'm ready to implement the product list. For product list, first of all, I need to define a UL and set the class name of UL to products. Inside that there should be, uh, you know, I need to get the list of products as a props from parent components. So here I get to access this dot props dot products and I'm using map. And for each product, I'm going to convert them to something like this. Li. Inside Li, there should be key and set the key value to product.id. Underline ID. Inside that, define a dev. Set the class name for dev to product. And inside that, define a link, set href to hashtag. Inside that, create an image tag, set src of this image to, uh, it should be product.image. 
and set the alt to let's say product image and then it's time to define the title it should be product title that's it for this and here it's time to define a dev for product price the class name should be product price and inside product price there are two sections the first one is a dev that shows the price product dot price and the second one is a button and this button value should be add to cart set the class name for this button to button primary and because we are going to get rid of this warning let's make it the alt to product dot title so it means that if there is no uh, image it shows the title instead of that and also for get rid of this one we can use this style you know hashtag plus product underline id that's it uh, it's time to add some style first of all let's go to app.js and inside the app.js in the product section let's use product import product here you know if you press tab here automatically the product gets imported here and don't forget to set product property and it should be this dot state dot products that's it let's check the result you see i have product here it's the name the price add to cart button and yeah that's all product that i defined in the data.json so we are going to make them like this so we need to format them change the size of image and the font size the style to make it from this to this ready good first of all let's go for the products itself in the index.css create a section for products and put dot products set display to flex justify content center and align items to center 2 set padding and margin to 0 and also set a st list a style type to noun because we do not like to see the disk icon next to them so much better huh instead of having that style it's like this and you see but the point is we need to set the wrap flex wrap to wrap and by having this setting you know they are going to be in below each other the next change should be list items inside products set flex to 1 1 29 rem set height to let's say 47 rem let's padding one rem and margin one rem let's define the style for product not products inside that set display to flex and this time the flex direction is column we do not like to put you know image and text next to each other we want to have in separate lines and set justify content to space between because we want 
uh, the items occupy the whole screen equally and then set the height to a hundred percent to occupy the whole screen for image inside product let's define max width to 37 rem and max height to 37 rem 2. let's see what we have right now you see it's much better let's go for product price dot product dash price set display to flex and set justify content space between and set align items to center for div and buttons inside product price we need to set text align for this and button set text align to center also for dev i'm going to set the font size to 2rem i want to make it bigger because it's the price and should be bold 2rem yeah it should be like this and here set the flex to one that's it uh, we are ready to add some style to the button for dot button set padding one rem at a border let's say 0.1 rem c0 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 and solid and set the background color to something like f0 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 for button primary button dot primary let's change the color to something gold and don't forget to set the cursor to pointer and for button hover let's change the border from this to something dark let's say eight 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 yeah when you over mouse over them you will see it should be like this the last change we need to have here is to change the flex for products li to zero one and get rid of the margin part and also for the button primary make it f0 c0 four zero to make a real gold by having these changes we have this result which is very similar to this one also we can change the font family to a google font Montserrat. just paste this code here you know fonts google's api.com slash css2 question mark family Montserrat and display swap and by having this copy this code here and inside the body section right here set font family to this and put a comma and then add this one and get rid of this so here we change the font family let's say what we have right now you know it's like this and we can get rid of underline for links so set text decoration to noun and see here is the result and here is the final work they are very similar to each other there are two changes remains here the first one adding dollar sign before the price and the next one is making add to cart font size a bit bigger let's go to index.css and at the very top add button to the list of items for having 
font family and font size. So the fonts is bigger equal to, you know, the one that we are going to make it like that. And also for adding dollar sign, I'm going to define a new file util.js and inside that define export default format currency. It accept a number and return. I'm using number num dot fixed and having one decimal point and change it to locale string and before that let's add a dollar sign like this and after that put a space like this and there should be a function declaration like this so by using format currency inside product components and you know for the product price i'm using format currency like this and as you see it's imported like this let's see the result uh-huh you know there is a dollar sign here so we have done with this lesson creating product component and it's time to publish these changes to the github so to do that click here and then here are the changes we have made adding uh, images of uh, products and updating app.js and creating product.js it's time to set a description for these changes it's product component create product component it's a message for this commit keep command or control and press enter and then click on this icon to publish changes to the github server after having these changes on the github server it's time to go to github.com slash your name slash react shopping cart you see here is the new branch and we want to create a pull request and merge it with the master so click here click create pull request click on merge pull request and then confirm the pull request that's it the last change we need to do is to change the branch from featured branch to master branch because we are going to make our code ready for the next changes so by having this change it's time to click on this icon and getting the latest changes from the server so if you check again the app.js you will see all your changes right here that's it for this lesson and for next lesson we are going to create filter components adding number of products ordering by price and filtering by size okay see you on next lesson